Hello everybody, my name is Tim Gascoigne. I am a teacher with VIP Kid. I have been teaching for over a year now. And on the side, I love recruiting and I love helping applicants get hired. And so this video is for you. If you are in the interview process or if you are just checking out this company and wondering what it's all about. But this new interview, which is called the Simplified Interview, is less slides. It more closely aligns what your mock classes will look like. So there's better transference from your interview into, your, uh, into the certification center. It's shorter as well. Don't we love shorter? It's less slides, takes less time, less preparation. If you have not applied to VIP Kid yet and you would like a mentor, I would love to be your mentor, your coach through this process. I have helped tons of people get hired. Um, I just did a video recently showing what you get if you, you know, choose me as your referral teacher. Um, I would be happy to guide you and support you through the entire process until you start teaching. If you have applied and you don't have a referral teacher, check that uh, menu at the top of your portal where it says my account. You will be able to click that and if there is no name there, it will say add a referral code. This is my referral code, Tim, uh, 000, 000, 000, three. that's Tim, five zeros and the number three. And when we are connected, I will send you an email and reach out with some resources, some tips, and my advice. You need to have good lighting on you so that there's not a lot of shadows and so that you're not dark and unclear and hard to see. You need to have a classroom background set up. You don't have to have as much stuff as I do, um, but it's really, really a good idea to have your name. So your name somewhere so that it's clear. You need to have your uh, reward system up, which is this for me. We're gonna use the soccer one in the example. And I have a few other little colorful things here that just add to my classroom and make it look bright and cheerful. You also need to have a headset. Ta-da! Please make sure you have a headset with a microphone, okay? I like uh, this Logitech headset, which I will link below. You need to have props. You don't have to have a ton of props for this lesson. The props that I have are a sad face and I have a happy face, which I will show you how I use later. I have my reward system and I have little green and black soccer balls. I know green and black is not typically what we see in a soccer ball, but anyway, they're green and black today. So green and black soccer balls. And I have my whiteboard as well with the sentence that they're going to say at the end. You don't have to have this. This is just the way I choose to, sh to model how to do it with the student. On this side, I have a he and a she, which I will be talking about later in the lesson very briefly. So, all right, we are ready. So I am going to teach the slide and then I'm gonna give you very brief commentary. So slide number one. Hello. Hello. My name is Teacher Tim. What's your name? Sally. Hi, Sally. My name is Sally. Great job, Sally. Sally, how old are you? Five. Great. Can you say, I am five years old. Great! Are you ready? Yes! Let's go! Done. So, on this slide, you're just welcoming. 30 seconds to a minute, you want to give your name, you want to ask them for their name. I always use TPR. This is for watch me speak. This is for repeat what I said. Okay, so I also asked how old are they? They're probably gonna give you very simple answers like five and they're probably not gonna say my name is or I am five years old. So always correct them uh, gently as I did just to repeat the full sentence. I praised them, good job, and I said my name is Sally and had them repeat. So one time, if they don't get it on the first go, just do it one, uh, one repeat correction with them and then move on. Sally, when you do a good job, you get a goal. Look, goal. Good job, Sally. One goal, done. 
So that's it. It's when you do a good job, you get a soccer ball. Sally. Sad. Good job. Sad. Great. Sally. Sad. Very good. He is sad. Very good. You get a goal. Good job, Sally. Two. That's it. So as you can see, I had them repeat the word sad two or three times. I used TPR to show sad. I had my prop sad to teach he is sad. When I went like this, I was just simulating that I would be underlining the word sad and underlining he is sad. That's it. Go to the next slide. Sally. She. Good. He. Yes. All right. Sally. Sad. Good. He is sad. Yes. Sally, who is sad? Who is sad? Circle. Yes! He is sad. Very good. He is sad. Great. That's it. So I am asking the question, which is in those teacher directions, that says the teacher will ask, who is sad? And the students should circle and respond, he is sad. So again, I'm modeling that um, by showing TPR to circle. I'm giving them that sentence again as a reminder that that's the response I'm looking for. And yeah, that's it. If they get it on the first try, awesome, move on. If they need you to repeat it again, or you don't hear the correct pronunciation, listen for the errors, just make them say it again. He is sad. That's it. Next. Okay, Sally, great job. You get another soccer ball. Goal. Three. Good job, Sally. Okay, Sally. Hmm. She is. She is. She is, hmm, is she happy? No, not happy, not happy. Is she sad? Yes, she is sad. Great job, Sally. Draw a line. She is sad. Good job, Sally! Excellent! Very, very good! That's it. So, as you can see, I modeled it for them. I, show, I told them to draw a line. I had them uh, repeat that sentence. I modeled it by thinking, who is sad? And I had my board ready, which showed what I wanted them to do. So, that's all you need to do on that slide. And that's it. So then, click Next. Good job, Sally! Look! One, two, three. <gasps> One, two, three. Yes, three goals. Good job, Sally. High five. Excellent. Goodbye, Sally. See you next time. Bye-bye. That's all you need to do. Uh, so this lesson is really about saying sad a few times, saying he is sad, and having them answer the question, who is sad? Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.